I'm Ray Hunko, and I'm an Associate Professor of Education and Human-Computer Interaction here at Iowa State University. I'm also a Fellow at the Berkman Center for Internet and Society at Harvard University. And I study how young people use emerging technologies and uh, more recently how they use so social technologies uh, in order to connect and how it affects their development. I'm also really focused on how young people use social technologies to learn both formally and informally. And so some of the research that I've done focuses on how these technologies are used and the outcomes of their use. But personally, I've used social media in the classroom to help students engage and connect with me and to connect with the material and to actually get them to uh, talk more richly about topics. It's really interesting. One of the things that I have found, and actually it's been replicated in, in other work, that um, if students talk about a class topic uh, online, on social media, not on uh, traditional uh, educational platforms like, um, like uh, Blackboard and Desire to Learn, uh, they, um, their discussions in class become more rich. To start off with, you need to ask yourself as an educator, what is my goal, all right? And so what is the ultimate outcome? And then think about what the best way to reach that outcome. It may not be through social media. So one of the things that I talk about in the book is using social media just because they are cool and that's not really a good reason. I think that the educator needs to plan out what the outcomes are and then take a look at the research and take a look at what's out there and how people uh, have used social media to reach those outcomes or, or maybe in other fields how social media related to those outcomes. So for instance in the book I uh, write a lot about how there's not a lot of research on social media in education and so we do borrow from fields like communication and psychology to inform our practices um, in education. So that's the, the first and most important thing. And I think then the next thing is to think about how you will evaluate your implementation of social media and so to come up with some way to assess it and to have an iterative process to make it better in future iterations, so for future courses or uh, future sections. You hear a lot about the negatives about social media in the, in the traditional media and uh, I think this book serves to debunk a lot of those myths. I think that uh, people shouldn't be concerned. There are certainly some issues that we need to watch out for, but as educators uh, in, in, in our society, we need to uh, teach students how to use these platforms and how to engage civilly in, uh, in a new type of community, and that's an online community. And I say, I say new tongue-in-cheek because they're not really new, but I think in, in the education world, we're now starting to take note and thinking about how we might uh, teach students about using these sites or about communicating and about how to interact with each other.